Today's video is nice and short. I am showing you how to add a motion blur to your clips inside of DaVinci Resolve. Let's get into it. This first method is for the studio version of Resolve. I'm sorry if you don't have it. It's going to be quick and painless though. Go over to filters and in the search bar, we're going to type in motion blur. I'm sure you guys have seen this effect before. Let's just add that in. Whoa, we can adjust the strength of the motion blur by going into our inspector effects and then just playing with the motion blur slider. Now for the people that have the free version of Resolve, we're going to go over to fusion. While media in is selected, I'm going to hit one on my keyboard to bring it into the first viewer window so you can see the before and after of this. We need to add two nodes, so hit shift space and you're going to type in optical flow. I'm sure you just saw that right now, so shift space once again, vector motion blur, bam, we have motion blur and you can adjust the scale here. The higher the scale, the more motion blur. Now, one downside of adding motion blur is that the UI gets affected by it as well. So to fix this, I'm going to duplicate my clip and then I'm going to head over to fusion and delete the two nodes. So this doesn't have motion blur anymore. Next, I'm going to head over to the color tab from here. I can go over to the power window, select the curve tool and outline the UI. Now, nothing happened, but if you notice over here in our preview window, you can see that the UI is just barely outlined. So what we need to do is add an alpha output. So right click your grid, add alpha output, connect this blue square to this circle, blue circle square, connect that. Bam, now we can see the video underneath, but if you notice, the UI doesn't have motion blur on it. Now we still have other bits that have motion blur, so add in another curve tool and start drawing. Bam, add another one. Now the crosshair, we can't see that anymore. What I like to do is add in a circle and then I'll make this really, really small here. Let's uh, zoom out. Once it's in place, we can bump up that softness like crazy. And there you go. That's how you add motion blur. It's also important to note this should be a last step because it is a killer on your PC. Anyways, I gotta go. Goodbye.